How's it going guys? Monty Pizzle here. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix your Hexit sound issues, which means basically you can't hear anything in game. So the reason this happened is back uh, about a year ago, Mojang stopped supporting the older versions of Minecraft, which means you can no longer download the old sound files for some reason. It also means that you can't see your skin, so I'm also going to teach you how to quickly fix your skin issue. So to begin with, you're going to need to download a few files. To begin with, make sure you have the Technic Launcher. The Technic Launcher will be found here at this link, which I'll include in the description. You're going to click Windows if you're running Windows, and Mac OS X if you're running Macs, and if you're on Linux, click on Linux. And then another file you're going to need is the Lumi Skin Patch. Just go up to this green download arrow and click it. It'll appear down on the left here. And then the final file you're going to need to download is from a media fire, so when you hit download, the big green one, you may have to uh, close a secondary window that might open up, but sometimes that doesn't happen. If you have ad blocker, it won't be an issue, but click download and that'll appear in the bottom left as well. So then you can go ahead and minimize all of those and go over here to File Explorer, the little folder icon in the bottom of the taskbar. Uh, click on Downloads and then go to here and you will have your two files or three if you download the Technic Launcher in here. So first things first, download or move your Technic Launcher file from here to your desktop and then open your Technic Launcher. It will open a window that looks similar to this. Please note that you will need to know your Mojang account sign information to uh, use this. Um, then what you're going to do is go to Hexit after hitting Mod Packs and then hit Download and then come over here to Mod Pack Options and then click on Open and then here you have all of your Hexit files. Go ahead and compare the two windows, your downloads folder and your Hexit folder. And click on Lumi Skin Patch and drag it into your core mods. So there's going to be another Lumi Skin Patch in here. And it's going to be the incorrect one. The one you're going to want to stay in here is the Lumi Skin Patch-1.0.6. Once you do that, you can go ahead and exit out of there. And then go ahead and go to the Hexit Sound uh, file download location and open up this you're going to need WinRAR so I will go ahead and include that in the uh, description so you can go ahead and easily download that as well and then click on resources and then click it again and then these are all of the files that you're going to move into resources so go ahead into resources delete all of these files so right click and delete and then drag all of these files into your resources folder once you're done with that, you can close that window, you can close your download window, and you can go ahead and launch Hexit. One other thing I would like to uh, teach you how to do real quick, just in case you don't know, uh, click on Launcher Options and go to Java Settings, and make sure you have at least 4 gigs of RAM dedicated. However, if you only have 4 gigs of RAM, make sure it's only set to 2. And another issue, if you do not have a option to go above 2, I believe, Feel free to leave a comment in the description and I'll make another video and teach you how to allocate more RAM, which is a, a very simple fix and it's, uh, it's an issue that a lot of people have when you're not super computer savvy. So go ahead and click play and uh, I will cut this part out. And we're back. Alright, so just open this up. Go ahead and start a world so you guys can see that it actually works. You can already hear the clicking. Alright, so here we've got uh, my house. You hear the wood getting punched. We'll pull out a sword. You hear that, and everything seems to be in order. Doors working. Anyway, guys, hopefully this was a helpful video. If not, feel free to leave a dislike. And if this did help you and you would like to see more videos in me aiding your Minecraft issues, please feel free to subscribe and leave a comment encouraging me to do more. I just, I don't really do much YouTube, I never really did, but I like to make small tutorials to help people when I can. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, have a good one.